Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to be discussing the lines in two-dimensional geometry. Let's do an example. Find the equation of the line given the following. In part A, we're told that the line passes through two points, 1, 2 and 2, 8. Let's work through this solution. So whenever you're given two points and you're trying to find the equation of the line, you start by finding the slope of the line. The slope formula is m equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over, and then it's x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So you subtract your y's, you divide, and subtract your x's. So in this particular problem, we can just take this first ordered pair as x1, y1, and the second ordered pair as x2, y2. By the way, it doesn't matter which you pick. This is equal to, so let's see. y sub 2 is 8, so it'll be 8 minus, and then y sub 1 is 2. And that's divided by x sub 2 is 2, and then minus x sub 1 is 1. I really think it's important to label things like this. It helps you avoid errors. So it's 8 minus 2, 8 minus 2, over 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1. 8 minus 2 is 6, 2 minus 1 is 1, so we get 6. So therefore, the slope of our line is m equals 6. I'm going to put that in a box. So now we need to find the equation of the line. So let's finish up. Let's use the point-slope formula. So that's y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. You can use the slope intercept formula, I just like using this one. This is one that's used a lot in calculus, so it's a good one to, to get good at. So this is y minus, so y sub 1 is 2. It's really good we labeled it, right? I had to look, so it's 2. And then what was m? Well, we put it in a box, so that's super convenient. That was 6. Good stuff. Parentheses x, and then x sub 1 is 1. Let's just do like a little mental check. y sub 1 is 2, m is 6 x sub 1 is 1, so all is good. At this point, you know, you could leave it like this, but most people um, want you to simplify and solve for y. It's usually what people do. So 6 times x is 6x, and then 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And we can add 2 to both sides, and we end up with y equals 6x minus 4, and that would be the equation of the line. So recap. Given two points, if you're trying to find the equation of a line, start by finding the slope, which is m, and then just use your formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Let's do a harder example. In this next example, the information is a little bit different. We're told that it passes through the point negative 3 comma 4, and it's parallel to the line y equals 2x plus 1. Let's work through this solution. We've already got a point, we just need the slope. So because our line is parallel to this line, and this line is in the form y equals mx plus b, we can identify the slope of this line. You can see right away that m is equal to 2. And because our line is parallel, our line must have the same slope. So therefore, the slope of our line is also 2. Because parallel lines have the same slope. So again, if our line is parallel to this line, then our line is going to have the same slope as, as this line, and this line has a slope of 2, therefore ours has a slope of 2. As far as our point, it's going to be this one here, x1, y1. And so again, we'll write down the formula for the point-slope form of a line. It's y minus y1 equals m, parentheses x minus x1. It's a good idea to write it down every single time you do a problem, and then it'll become burned in your memory. You'll never forget it. <laughs> so y minus, and then uh, y sub 1 is 4, and this is equal to m, which is 2, parentheses, oh, it's a little bit sneaky here, it's x minus negative 3, there's a minus here, and there's a minus in the negative, so it'll become plus 3, be careful there, then y minus 4 is equal to, we can distribute here, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. And then we can just add 4 to finish up. Add 4 to both sides. 
and then so we end up with y equals 2x plus 10. And so that would be the equation of the line that passes through the point negative 3 comma 4 that is parallel to y equals 2x plus 1. Again, we're given a point. Uh, we know parallel lines have the same slope. This line has a slope of 2. Therefore, our line has a slope of 2. And we just use the point slope form of a line to figure out the answer. If the question had said perpendicular, so if... It said, this is important, I should mention it, because this will help you a lot, perpendicular. Um, then, then M, basically you would flip it. So 2 is really 2 over 1. When it's perpendicular, you flip it and you put a negative sign. So it'd be negative 1 over 2. So if it says perpendicular to a line, you find the slope of the line, which in this case is still 2, and then you take the negative reciprocal. So you flip it and put a negative. So if it's parallel, you keep the slope. If it's perpendicular, you flip it and put a negative. I hope you've learned some math in this video, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Until next time, good luck and take care.